Hello everybody, welcome back to Bearware the Terrible. Today we have a new deck for you called the Comeback King, featuring our Zygarde from Evolving Skies. So Zygarde has the Judgment Surge attack, allowing you to do 40x damage to any one of your opponent's Pokemon for each prize card they have taken. So obviously it is a lot of energy cards you need to attach to this Pokemon. To be able to use this attack, you need a Grass energy, you need a Fighting and a Colorless energy as well. That means you need your Rapid Strike energy card. So we need our Rapid Strike 3 copies of this card to be able to satisfy a Fighting and a Colorless, but we also need that extra Grass energy to be able to attack. So this is the Comeback King, uh, the, this deck is called the Comeback King because we are attacking after our opponent take a lot of prize cards. So for each prize card your opponent take, they are gonna damage themselves by a lot because Judgment Surge does even more damage, more and more damage as your opponent take more and more prize cards. And we are also using our Cinderace from Chilling Rain with the Crisis Power ability allowing you to do 30 extra damage for each of your opponent's prize card that they have taken. So if your opponent take, uh, if they have taken three prize cards, you do 90 more damage. So this is how powerful this uh, this ability is. This card, Cinderace, is a stage two Pokemon though. That means you have to evolve it. You have to think about using your rare candy, your bush shake to be able to evolve it. But once it is, once you have it in play, you can attack for 150 damage for only two energies. So a fire and a colorless. We have Raihan in this deck to fast charge that Cinderace to fast charge our Zygarde to be able to attack very very easy. After you fast charge your Zygarde with that extra grass energy from your discard pile by using a Raihan all you need to do is attach a rapid strike energy from your hand and you're good to go for three energy cost for the three energy attack cost to attack with your judgment surge after your opponent has taken a lot of prize cards obviously because Zygarde is not going to do anything early on in the game so obviously we actually have to play Cinderace first so our main gambit is to play Cinderace as our first attacker and then use our judgment surge when the game is about to end. So this is our final gambit. Z Zygarde is our final card, our, uh, you know, final attacker. So we also have our regular supporter cards. We have our Bruno, just because we are playing a lot of one price cards. We also have our Marnie, three copies of Marnie, three copies of Research, two copies of our Raihan. And we also have Boss Order, two copies of Bo Boss Order, two copies of Bird, Bird Keeper. And also two Rare Candies and two Bush Shakes. So Bush Shake Rare Candy allows us to fast evolve our uh, our Scar Bunny into our Reboot and also our Cinderace. We have two copies of Reboot because we are playing Bush Shake just in case they turn up in our hand or in our prize card. Then at least Bush Shake can still take out that one. We at least still have at least one Reboot in the deck for, uh, for us to use our Bush Shake with. So we also have one rod in this deck to be able to shuffle our Cinderace back into the deck to recycle that one prize card. We also have one uh, teles uh, one telescopic sight, one Passimian to be able to boost our Zygarde, two Zygars in this deck, and we also have our uh, Experience Share. So Experience Share allows you to uh, attach that extra energy to your bench score bunny, and then evolve into a Cinderace on your next turn, attach an extra energy from your hand, and you are good to go for your Fireball shot for that extra 30 damage after they knock out your active Cinderace. So that's how powerful uh, Raihan and Experience Share is. We only have two Raihans. That is why we have one Experience Share. Uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, I like the variety. It's better than having three Raihans because you actually have to wait for a Pokemon to get knocked out to be able to use the effect of this card. To be able to attach energy card from your discard pile, a basic energy. You can't attach a special energy from your discard pile. We are playing, we are playing two copies of our capture energy to be able to bring out our active, our uh, basic Pokemon. We have four copies of Scar Bunny, two copies of our basic Zygarde, and one Passimian. And two Crobat. Crobat, obviously, you can't actually use the ability unless you play it from your hand. That is why we have quick balls in this deck. Four quick balls to be able to bring out our basic Pokemon and one Sonia as well. So that's all for the deck review. Let's go ahead for gameplay. We have our basic energy cards, uh, six fire energy and uh, four grass energy, if I'm not mistaken, and also three rapid strike energy cards. So let's go ahead for our first game in the standard format with our comeback king deck versus Davido. DeVito with a Chansey coin. It's a very Chansey coin. <laughs> Chansey. I love that. A Chansey coin. Lucky, you know? <laughs> you might get lucky. You never know. Um, and I actually forgot to turn on the uh, music for my Pokemon. Uh, the audio for this. There we go. Okay, so we are up against a Cinderace deck. Um, 
Looks like we can't get out our score bunny yet. I'm just gonna turn down the music here. Just because we have our music already. Okay, we have no score bunny. So I think I'm just gonna attach that one. And just attack it, I suppose. So we have two capture, four quick balls, and one Sonya. Not a lot of cards to bring out our score bunny, but we do have four copies of that card in this deck. Not sure why we can't be getting it out by now. We should be able to have it in play in the first turn itself, but just because Sonya is being pesky, uh, we can't actually do it yet. So we're gonna be very delayed here. We can't actually evolve that fast in this game. But that's okay, um, we got our Crobat, so that's not too bad. We get to retreat with our uh, Tower of Waters. We only have one copy of Tower in this deck uh, just to retreat because we are playing Rapid Strike cards. Uh, also a, a Cross Strike card. We are playing two strikes. Single Strike, uh, Cinderace, and Rapid Strike, Zygarde. So I'm gonna retreat to my... Um, I don't know what I'm gonna retreat to actually. We have a Rod, so I think I'm just going to retreat to Passimian. So if they don't knock out my Passimian, I can at least retreat with the Tower of Waters if they don't displace this card from the Stadium spot. And also, I can also um, retreat to my Score Bunny if I am able to find that Rare Candy with a Supporter card. If I top deck a Supporter card, if not, then I'm going to be quite delayed here because it doesn't seem like my hand is... Very good. Let's hope they Marnius. If they Marnius, that would be great. They are using a Hop though. Hop is not a good card, so... Um, draw 3 only, no extra effects. Avery is much better than Hop. At least you're doing something with your Avery. Unless they play a lot of Crobats, and if you are not having your Path to the Peak in your deck, then Avery is not a good card to be playing uh, sometimes, just because it actually frees up their Ben spot and helps them even more. So I'm just gonna get another score bunny just because they get knocked out very easily. Um, evolve that. Evolve into a reboot. And then should we knock it out? Because we are only taking 60 damage. I don't think we should though. If we pass the turn, Possimian is dead. So I think I'm just gonna sacrifice my Zygarde. Um, yeah, let's do another 30. 30 for one energy, that is quite crazy. For a basic Pokemon as well, 30 for one energy card. A colorless, you know? Dragon type, no weakness, no resistance. Uh, two energy retreat cost. Here comes the Indeedee for the healing. So, uh, thank god we are up against a mild deck. We are not up against that overpowered uh, Rayquaza or Urshifu Duraludon deck. Because this deck is actually not built against way too competitive decks. We are actually having a lot of fun with this. Uh, we may be able to win against those decks, but you know, we don't have a high rate of winning against those meta meta competitive decks. Uh, this is just a fun way of playing the game by, you know, making this card work. How do we make this attack work uh, in pair with our Crisis Power ability from Chilling Rain? Cinderace from Chilling Rain, quite an interesting card. But it is stage 2, very difficult to evolve. Uh, if you're playing a stage 2 attacker, then it's quite, it's quite a difficult deck to build. If you're playing a stage 2 ability, like a, you know, like a Inteleon, that actually helps support your other attackers, your main attacker. If your main attacker is not a stage 2 Pokemon, you're only playing the stage 2 for the support, then that would be a different story, a whole different story. It would be, um, it would actually make, it would be much better, you know, in a sense, because that stage 2 is going to help you a lot. Rather than having to rely on that stage 2 to attack, you're actually relying on the stage 2 to support you, uh, and having the Drizzile as well, the stage 1 to support, 
uh, you know, it actually does a double effect, a double support, you know, so that Inteleon is crazy. As long as you have a, a Inteleon in your deck, I don't think you can lose a game unless you're up against a, a twin deck, the same the same build of a deck versus a another over overpowered meta deck. You know what I'm talking about. So we're up against Cinderace as well. So Cinderace versus Cinderace, uh, pretty sure they're using a Libero Cinderace. Libero ability, as you retreat to that Cinderace, you get to attach two... Uh, as you put the Cinderace as your new active, you get to attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to your Cinderace, and then attack with 190 damage. 190, and then uh, you do have to discard those energy cards back, but it's not a huge cost because it's only three energy attack costs. You get to attach two from the discard pile, every turn and then you know attach one from your hand that's all you need to do but we don't have giant hearth anymore we can't uh you know search the deck for fire energy cards with your stadium that that is no longer available in the standard format so that would be a bit tricky for them because you can't actually uh it might be a bit difficult to attach that extra I should have used a rare candy there, oh well. To attach that extra fire energy from their hand, after using their first, uh, I'm not sure what the attack is called, but their first Cinderace hit. So let's attack with our Cinderace. Um, wait for them to kill our Cinderace and then find the next one. We do have a rare candy, but no Boost Shake early on. Boost Shake is only good for if you can't do anything, if you can't attack and you are forced to pass a turn, or if it shows up very early in the game, then Bushake is super super strong that way. But otherwise, if it shows up way too late, Bushake is not going to do anything for you. You're going to be wasting your turn uh, just for the evolve, you know. Unless you have a evolution incense for a stage 1 evolution, and then Bushake for the stage 2 evolution on the same turn, then that would actually do a lot for you. Then you're actually passing the turn, double evolving, you know, so Bushake is essentially a rare candy, but you do still have to pass the turn after evolving, uh, after the second evolution, if it is your second evolution with the Bushake. So here comes another Cinderace. This is a very slow deck because we are playing a lot of stage 2 cards, uh, only 2 rare candies and 2 Bushakes, only 3 Cinderace and uh, 2 Raboots in this deck. So I'm just going to attach uh, that one just because I have an experience share. So experience share actually allows me to... I can attack with this one as well if they don't crushing hammer me. So I'm just going to prepare the Zygarde just, just for, you know, just for fun. Oh, I can't actually attack with this one. Not yet at least. Because you can't attack during your next turn, uh, that's the effect of your Fireball Shot attack. Fireball Shot, kind of like a Brave Blade, after using it you have to retreat switch to be able to use it again, or retreat to another Cinderace. You don't have to do a double switch, only a single switch if you have another one prepared already on your bench. Here comes Libero. Flare Striker, okay that's the attack. We can't knock out the Victini. We have no Karen's Conviction in this deck, by the way. So if they play a VMAX, we can only hope to hit the VMAX, uh, hit for a VMAX knockout with two hits. We can't actually knock it out with one hit. Because we have no Karen's Conviction. After they draw five prize cards, we are only hitting 300 damage max with our uh, Fireball Shot and also with the Crisis Power ability. 300 damage is the max we can do with this deck. So we are not having uh, that extra Zigzagoon or... Uh, What's the word? That Vitality Ban or Leon or any of those cards in this deck. So we actually can't attack now. Just because they crushing hammered us. Um, this is quite bad. But we do have a Tower of Water, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, we can do... 100 damage to that one. Is that gonna do anything? Uh, 
I'm gonna prepare this one. And then I'm gonna hit with my... There we go. I'm just gonna hit the Indeedy. Because the Indeedy can't evolve. So let's hope we have another Raboot. Oh god, we don't have a Raboot. Dang it. This is bad. We need a Raihan. So we are hitting the um, Indeedy and then we are gonna kill the Victini at the last minute. Let's hope they don't evolve into a VMAX. If they evolve into the VMAX, they can't actually kill us because it's only 100 damage. Uh, it only does 100 damage to non-V cards unless they boss order our Crobat. We need that Grass Energy. No Grass Energy, we can't actually use that attack. But we can kill, uh, you know, we can kill it later if we want to. So I'm just going to use a research here. Let's see what we have in the deck. Um, we have a Raihan, we have a Grass Energy card. Let's hope we get a Grass Energy. And our rod, we need our rod actually. No grass energy card. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna attach fire now. Uh, we're actually gonna attach. Yeah, let's attach fire. I'm gonna do that. Um, put my Cinderus and Raboot. We don't have a Raboot, so we can't use Boo Shake. Oh, that is sad. We can't use Boost Shake at all. I'm just gonna retreat to my Score Bunny because I don't need my Score Bunny. So we got a Bird Keeper for the draw. Let's hope we get a Grass Energy card at least. Or another... Uh, we actually can attack with our Cinderace now. So attack with Cinderus and then judgment judgment search to knock out that Indeedy and we and we win the game that way. If they don't use their Cinderus to attack, if they don't evolve their Victini, so there there is a lot of ifs here. Here comes another Cinderus. They have four prize cards left, same for us. Oh, they didn't retreat. Not retreating is a bad move. It's just a really really bad move because we have our Zygarde already prepared for that already prepared for that knockout. Uh, we have a Crobat in hand. So I think I might just not do that. Um, let's just use a Crobat. We can actually prepare another Zygarde which might have been better. But oh well. I'm just gonna retreat. I'm gonna compress my deck. Uh, sorry about that. So discard stuffs. Uh, bring out some more cards. Okay, there we go. Okay, got a Raboot and a Rare Candy, no Cinderus. But all we need is that Grass Energy and we are good to go. It, unless they boss order us. We have a boss order though, so we are good to go for a V knockout. The next turn, whether, whether or not they kill our Zygarde, it's irrelevant. We are going to kill their Indeedy the next turn unless they discard it in some way, which... You know, you can't actually discard your bench Pokemon, not yet. Uh, or heal it max. They still can't avoid the knockout though. We're doing 120 plus 30, 150 damage. We don't have a telescopic sight anymore. We only have that one Passimian and one telescopic sight in this deck. 
So it is quite uh, scarce in that sense, but we actually don't need that many because this is a final gambit. This is our trump card for the last hit, the last knockout. When uh, when your opponent has taken like 5 or 4 prize cards, then, then you can use your Zygarde. Otherwise, this card is just not going to be good at all throughout the game until the very, very end. So here comes the Cinderus, and they're going to knock out our Cinderus or our Zygarde. But whichever they knock out, their Ndidi is dead the next turn. Um, we actually get to do that as well. So let's do Zygarde. And we actually get to do Judgment Surge. And we're just going to use Boss Order for the heck of it. And Judgment Surge to knock out the Indeedy. Yay, that was satisfying. Okay, we won the first game. Fabulous. Alright, let's go for the second game with our Comeback King. Cinderus and Zygarde. Zygarde, uh, no one, I haven't seen anyone make a deck from this card. Um, I haven't been paired with anyone who make built a deck who battled with me with a, a Zygarde. Nobody has ever fight with a Zygarde before. So it's pretty interesting to be able to make that card work. Um, it is quite difficult though. Because it's like a last chance card, you know, a last chance, uh, a final hit card. You can't actually attack it. You can't do anything with a Zygarde uh, to begin with. You have to wait for the game to be uh, close to the end to be able to use that card. Malamar. Oh gosh. Malamar is super super fast and it does a lot of damage. It is probably the best single prize Pokemon uh, as yet in the standard format because it does it does a lot of damage. With your Chinchino, you can draw like a huge amount. You can compress your deck with your level ball, fog crystal, you can draw out your rap rapid strike Pokemon very easily with those cards and a lot of item cards as well. Uh, this deck is just crazy. It's insane. Is overpowered. You may even think of uh, adding that Zygarde to your Malamar deck. Just because Zygarde and Malamar is both Rapid Strike, you can use a Tower of Waters for both. You can use your Spiral Energy for both. Uh, so you can use your Octillery to bring out your Spiral Energy for both your Zygarde and your Malamar. But if you are using Spiral Energy, it's important to know that you can't actually... Um, we actually have a bad hand here. Uh, we have to use a Bruno, I suppose. I don't really want to do that. It's important to know that if you're using a Spiral Energy or a Single Strike Energy even, or a Rapid Strike Energy, you have to uh, be... You have to take note that you can't actually... Uh, you can't actually do any damage to the uh, Dureludon VMAX. So Dureludon VMAX protects protects itself from all damage from any Pokemon with special energy cards attached to them. So Dureludon is gonna be, uh, you know, very, very destructive against your Rapid Strike combos and your Single Strike cards just because those, uh, your Single Strike or Rapid Strike team rely on those special energy cards a lot to be able to speed up your game with your Rapid Strike combos, to be able to do extra damage with your Single Strike energy cards. So it is, and also the Aurora energy effect with your impact energy and your spiral energy, you know, to be able to hit a lot of different types of energies at the same time. So those effects, uh, actually, you cannot, you either are able to use those effects but not able to damage that Dureldon VMAX, or you are not able to use those effects if you want to damage that Dureldon VMAX card. Uh, you can still think about boss order knocking out their Zacian, uh, their Bronzong, or maybe their Bench Crobat. For the knockout hit, but they may be pesky, they may not put enough bench Pokemons for you to collect all six prize cards, leaving only that single Dureladon VMAX in the you know as the last prize card for you to draw, forcing you to draw that one 
unless you have your uh, summoning horn. Your summoning horn allows you to uh, force your opponent to put a basic Pokemon. Uh, allows you to put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. That means you actually get to hit another of their Pokemon that way. So that might be a different story, you know? They actually didn't do any damage. So that was close, actually, because Malamar is super, super fast. It's a surprise that they couldn't do any damage with their Malamar yet. So we actually get to shuffle our deck as well, because Marnie, you put those supporter cards back at the bottom of your deck, which is not good. Uh, so Bushake allows us to not only evolve our Cinderace, sorry, our Raboot, but also to shuffle our deck just, uh, just to make it easier for us to top deck a supporter card the next turn. Um, slightly, hopefully. Or at least a Crobat, another Crobat. We do have two Crobats in this deck. A Quick Ball would be nice because that actually allows us to get a Crobat unless they play a Path to the Peak. But a Malamar deck is probably going to have Tower of Waters instead of Path to the Peak. Here comes four Rapid Strike cards for 120 damage. Not enough. They don't have Chinchinos. It doesn't, doesn't look like they have Chinchinos in their deck. So we're going to play a Grass Energy just because we don't have it in the discard pile yet. Um, should we do that? We can't actually switch anymore because we only can switch with a Bird Keeper with this deck. Uh, if we Marnie, we're actually going to help them, but that's okay. Uh, we have a Boost Shake though, that's good. So we're going to discard the Sonia for a Crobat if we have it. If we don't, we might get a Zygarde. Uh, we are just going to get a Zygarde just to show off a little bit and, you know, cause some havoc or panic in their game. Here comes Cinderace. If you knock out our uh, Crobat, we're going to do more damage. But doing more damage doesn't do much against a single price deck. So we don't actually need those knockouts. But it does do an, uh, it does do a lot to your Judgment Surge. Because they are not playing V cards. Your Passimian is not going to do anything unless they play a Crobat V. Uh, your Telescopic Sight is not going to do extra damage. They have an Eldegoss though, so they may play that later. So we never know what uh, we may hit what we may hit extra damage of. So 2 is going to be 40, 80. 80 we can't hit uh, for a knockout. 120, we need our opponent to collect 3 prize cards to be able to do a knockout, either an Octillery, either an Octillery or a Malamar. But if they are basic, we can still knock them out with one hit of a Judgment Surge. But it is 3 energy attack cost, so you have to think about bringing out your Grass and your Rapid Strike Energy card, or even a Experience Share, attach it to your Zygarde. You may think about ex uh, attaching that Experience Share to your Zygarde, or maybe using a Raihan for your Zygarde to put that uh, Grass Energy from your discard pile back into your, uh, attach it to your Zygarde, and then add that extra Rapid Strike Energy from your hand, and you're good to go. Within a single turn, you can actually charge it up uh, for the attack. So we can hit. We can attack, we can attach energy, we can summon another score bunny, and we can also use a research. So that is a lot of things we can do. We got another score bunny, uh, sorry, another reboot, which is a godsend. Because normally if you have two reboots in the deck, at least one is gonna in the price is gonna be in the prize card, you know. But we got a boost shake for that first reboot, and we got a evolution incense for the second one, so that's a, a very good deal. Um, I'm not sure why, but if you're playing a rogue deck, you have less luck if, than if you're playing a meta deck, if you're playing against a meta deck, so... This is a very rogue deck. Nobody has played a cinderace Zygarde combo before, never before. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it in the ladder. I don't think anyone has ever experimented on this card ever. So this is very, very new, very, very rogue. So the luck is not going to be that good, you know. Um, we have a Cinderace. We just need that extra fire energy card. I'm gonna see if we have a lot of fire. Only two fires. So I don't think we can do it. We can't attack this turn. So would it be wiser just to pass the turn? I'm gonna pass the turn to my Passimian just because Passimian is not doing anything uh, for this deck. So, should we use a Marnie or a Research or a Bruno? Marnie is going to be bad for us, though. Uh, if they use an Avery, we're going to have to discard something. A Score Bunny and a Zygarde, I suppose. So, I suppose that's it. 
if they knock out our Hasimian, at least we get to hit with our Cinderace or our Zygarde. Uh, we get to use Raihan for that extra energy card as well. So Raihan is super, super good because we get to get another energy card with our Raihan, which is what we're gonna do because we have only four other energy cards in this deck. Uh, other than those, you know, those special energy cards, we don't want to be attaching special energy anymore. We want that uh, basic energy card because we need to fill in that specific type. Otherwise, we can't attack the specific grass or fire type. Uh, it doesn't look like a good deck that they're playing because they're only playing Malamar and Octillery. No Chinchinos, no, um, they have an Elder Gods though, no Krikatune, no Crobat, no Articuno, no means of drawing more cards into their hand, no Xenia, um, but they can still do quite a lot of damage. They are doing twice the amount of damage because it's Psychic Weakness, uh, so 120, they only need two actually, 80 is enough. Or maybe 40, no 80, they need 80. So we are going to hit that. I think we're going to hit that. Um, because we can do it now, might as well do it now. Uh, Raihan a fire energy, I suppose. I think we're going to Raihan a fire energy card. I don't know really. I'm just going to Raihan a grass energy. I, I'm going to be pesky here and use two back-to-back -back Zygards. Um, that may not be wise though. But oh well, I'm just gonna be past- oh, I can't actually attach it now. Oh dear, I can't attach it now just because I attach it to my Zygarde. Oh well. So we're gonna use Judgment Search, knock out that Octillery. Uh, sorry, that um, Remoraid. If they Marnie us, that's not gonna be good, but I don't think they have a Marnie. They probably have Research and uh, Corina's Focus or Bruno. Marnie doesn't help much with your Rapid Strike Tentacles unless you're playing Chinchinos. Uh, then it's gonna do a lot for you. Because Marnie is very disruptive, you know, it disrupts your opponent's hand. Uh, but it seems like we actually help our opponent with two Marnies because they actually have no hand just now uh, twice and we actually give them that Marnie hand. Uh, here comes Elder Goss. So if they knock us out, we can do... Uh, we have Telescopic Sight, but we have no more Passimian, so we are doing only extra 30 damage. 4, 4, 180, 160, sorry. So 160, 190. We are doing 190 damage against uh, towards that Elder Goss. Uh, if they boss order us though, we are dead. So we can only do... Yeah, they're gonna boss order this one, obviously. Because we are charged up and ready to go for our Cinderaces. Uh, we can knock out the Elder Goss for two prize. They're probably gonna knock out our... Oh, they didn't use a boss order. Oh, they used a Karina's Focus. They can't use a boss order anymore. So we can knock out the Elder Goss now, and then worry about their uh, Malamar later. I think we should attack the Malamar now though. Like it would be wiser to attack the Malamar now. Because they are down to two prize cards. I'm not sure how it come to this point, but it just did. So we're gonna Bird Keeper. I think we're gonna Bird Keeper the next turn just because Cinderace can't actually retreat without a Bird Keeper. Uh, Tower of Waters only work for your Rapid Strike Pokemons, obviously uh, Cinderace is single strike, so we are playing two different strike cards in this deck, very very interesting. We have another Raihan, uh, no more experience share, I think we discarded that or used it up. Oh, we do have it still in our deck or prize card. So experience share is still in the game. Uh, not in play, but still in the game, uh, you know, viable to be used in the future, sometime in the future, soon, hopefully. If they don't knock us out, hopefully they can't knock us out that easily. They are water type though, only does 50 damage. Uh, Octillery does 50 damage for 3 energy attack cost, waterfall. Octillery is basically useless. Um, they haven't get it out yet. Uh, it's a surprise because, you know, they need their Octillery actually. 
Here comes Eldegoss. Okay, now here comes our Bird Keeper to kill that Eldegoss. Bye bye, Eldegoss. 190. Dead Eldegoss. Perfection. Here comes Octillery, uh, making a super late entrance to the game with the Waterfall Attack and the Rapid Strike Surge ability for Malamar. No Inke, probably need a Rod now. Um, they might have way too many things in their prize cards, but they have only two prize cards left, so that is a surprise. We can actually do that for the win. Judgment Surge, 120, 160, my bad, 160 for the win. We don't even need our Cinderus. So Judgment Search, you can actually select your opponent's active Pokemon as well. But it doesn't do extra damage with your Telescopic Sight. Obviously, Telescopic Sight and Basimian only does extra damage to your opponent's benched Pokemon V card. If it's your bench, if they, are, is, if they play only one prize card, you can't actually hit extra damage. If it's not their bench Pokemon, you also don't get to hit extra damage. Legendary Y, Legendary Su 1. Legendary Soul. Sorry, my bad. Legendary Soul. Tyranitar. Ah. Here comes Scorbunny. We got Bird Keeper for the draw. We can't use it. Just because we have no bench Pokemon. We do have a lot of basic Pokemon cards. Uh, a lot of cards to summon them, but I don't know why they're just not showing up, you know. Maybe we have the wrong ratios, we have way too many other supporter cards and energy cards as well. So maybe that could be the reason, I don't know. Uh, maybe Wiser, oh. They just let us win for some unknown reason. I wanted to get a Crobat or maybe another Score Bunny. It may be wiser to get another Score Bunny that early in the game just because Score Bunny is only 60 HP. It gets knocked out very, very easily. With an Inteleon VMAX as well, if they use a Melanie on their second turn, they can attack with their Inteleon VMAX already. Uh, hitting a two Score Bunny knockouts. You know, if you if you don't evolve your Score Bunny by your second turn, you're done for. Like, you need to evolve all of your Score Bunnies. Because there is no copy of Score Bunny, there is no print. Uh, no score bunny in any expansion that is higher than 60 HP. The max HP for a score bunny or any other basic starter Pokemon for that matter, uh, Rowlet or um, Sobble as well, all of them are only 60 HP, if I'm not mistaken. Whereas all other, uh, all other regular basic Pokemon are at least 70 HP, like Mary or even a uh, Scovet or something like that. 70 HP is like the minimum. So 60 is very, very weak because you can actually knock it out with your Inteleon V Max, uh, Max Bullet. You can knock it out with your, um, what's it called again? The Hunting hunting Snipe or something. Hunting hunting Claws. Hunting Claws, Lick and Rock V Max. Uh, if your opponents, you know, uh, you can actually hit for a knockout. It's the effect of an attack as well. So Hunting Claws, Lick and Rock V Max allows you to knock out any one of your opponent's Pokemon with 60 HP or less remaining. That's a very interesting card, Lickenrock VMAX. Um, I made a deck if you guys want to check it out. It's in the playlist or, you know, in one of the videos in my channel. Go check it out if you guys haven't already. Uh, it's quite interesting. I used it with a Rapidash, Galarian Rapidash V to lower our opponent's Pokemon's VMAX or V card into uh, to 100 HP and then use Inteleon to snipe extra damage to that VMAX until they are down to 60 HP and then use Hunting Claws for the knockout. So here comes Score Bunny. Two Score Bunnies and maybe a Zygarde? Another Passimian? I don't know. So they're gonna do... Oh my gosh, if they... If they hit us the next turn, that's gonna be super bad. Because we can't actually survive. Yeah. I don't think we can win this game just because we can't survive it, you know. 
We can't survive two strikes of... Uh... <laughs> I don't think we can win this game. We can't survive two strikes of... Matchless Maelstrom. Matchless Maelstrom is gonna kill Score Bunny with the Fluffy Barrage ability. Uh, if they use Solar Evolution this turn, uh, which they probably can very easily, if they can find all the pieces, they can actually kill us. So you can get a Matchless Maelstrom with this Search ability, or even your another Rapid Strike uh, card, or even your Evolution card. Another energy rapid strike search. Sorry, rapid strike energy card. So here comes Cinderus, because we have a rare candy. Might as well evolve into a Cinderus, and we can do it now. We are gonna use our Bird Keeper, hoping for another. Should we use a Crobat first? We may have a Crobat. I'm gonna discard that because we need a Fire Energy card. So we have a Crobat. There we go. Okay, still nothing, but we can compress the deck further with a Reboot. Here comes our Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper helping us drawing extra cards. There we go, we got it. Uh, we got our Raihan as well, so if they don't Marnie us the next turn, we can evolve and attach that extra energy card. Attacking right off the bat with our uh, second Cinderus. Our second single strike Cinderus. Uh, we don't need those extra damage because they are playing very low HP Pokemon, single prize Pokemon as well. If you are playing single prize, all we need is that extra 30 damage to do 180. 180 is enough to knock out any single uh, single prize card. You know, uh, Colossal Stage 2 Pokemon, Colossal uh, from Battle Styles, I think. That's the highest Stage 2 Pokemon HP. Uh, 180. 180 180 HP is the highest. So it is still a stage 2 Pokemon and Solar Evolution is not perfect. You know, the ability is not perfect. Solar Evolution, you need to have your Jump Bluff in your deck. If you have all of your Jump Bluff in your hand or a few in your prize cards and you don't have your Switching Cups or you don't have your Oranguru Primate Wisdom to put them back into your deck, Pokemon Communication is no longer standard so you can't actually put it back into your deck that way. Uh, you may even think about discarding it and then reshuffling it with a rod, which is quite ridiculous because you're actually wasting your rod that way. So, uh, you know, Jump Bluff is actually quite difficult to evolve that sense in that sense just because Solar Evolution is not perfect. It has its limits. There, I told you so, they can't even evolve it yet. So, Bushake, Bushake might help them though. Bushake might be helpful uh, to. Bushake is very strong uh, for a. For a stage 2 deck. For any stage 2 deck, if you have a boost shake, it's gonna help you a lot. So I'm gonna Bird Keeper because I can't attack with Fireball Shot uh, after using it the first time. So I'm just gonna put my Crobat first. Just so I can actually retreat and attack again. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna retreat now and then... I think I've already evolved that one, so... Just gonna attack. Matchless Milstrom, we are fire type, so they are not hitting twice the damage. Uh, we are not weak towards grass type, we are not dark. We're not ground type as well. So spinning attack, spinning attack jump bluff is not gonna do anything. Matchless Milstrom, uh, we have to be careful of the other tool card though. I can't remember the name of it but it does like 50x damage for each energy card attached to your opponent's active pokemon so if they have that tool card attached they can do 110 damage to us that's still not enough you know we are, uh, we don't need that much energy card to attack uh they can do 160 enough to kill a zygarde but not enough to kill our cinderus uh if we have our zygarde fully charged though we don't have it fully charged yet so we can hit the jump laugh. Oh, we can't because they haven't taken any price card yet. So let's just prepare our second Cinderus. Uh, we shouldn't actually do that, I think. I don't think we should do that. I think it's better to do that though. So if they Avery us, if they use an Avery on us, uh, we can actually free up our bench spot 
for the Passimian. So I think I'm just gonna leave my hand. Uh, it might not be wise though, just because if they Marnie us, it's gonna be bad. It's better just to Marnie now than later. We don't have an energy card to attach to our Cinderus anyway, so Marnie is gonna help us in that sense at least. So we can't attack, have to pass a turn. Fireball shot effect says you can't attack on your next turn, so. Uh, Flaffy, so they probably have the other tool card as well. Um, playing that 50x damage for the, you know, for your, for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. But looks like they're playing Matchless. Matchless is not going to do much. Uh, 60 damage for one price cards. 120 for Crobat though. So we actually have to watch out for that. Two strikes is enough to knock out two Crobats. Two strikes is not enough to knock out anything else though. They need three strikes. Three strikes to knock out another Zygarde. And maybe a Cinderace. They can't knock out Cinderace with three strikes. 60. Oh, they can. 6 times 3 is 180. So 3 strikes is all they need, actually. 3 strikes of Matchless Milstrom. Oh gosh, they can actually do it. That's madness. We need a boss order. Like, we need it badly. I'm just gonna put that one. I don't want to waste my Rapid Strike energy though. We only have three copies to spare. Um, we uh, we have a Rod though for that Passimian if we need it. Uh, we don't need a Passimian just because they are not playing. They are not playing V cards. I don't think we can win this game just because they only need three strikes. You know, all they need is three strikes. But we need another three strikes as well. If they run out of their if they run out, of the, uh, run out of their jump love, they can't actually attack anymore, so they need to attack now, later, and another time. No jump love. No hop it. Zero retreat cost, by the way, so they can, uh, you know, attack whenever they want. Uh, they don't have their energy card. It seems like they are trying to get out their energy can't get out their energy yet. That single basic energy is all they need. I don't think they have it. There we go, their first strike. Second strike is gonna kill the Zygarde. No, second strike is gonna kill two Crobats. Third strike is gonna kill everything. So that's how strong Jump Bluff is. Um, we can't actually hit two at the same time. So what are we gonna do here? I'm just gonna attach a grass. Uh, might not be wiser though. Should we use a Marnie? We have a boss order, so I don't think we're gonna use a Marnie. I might. It might have been smarter to use up those quick balls just in case they Marnie us. But I don't know. If they can use their third one, I don't think there's any hope for us. If they can use their third one, we're done. Uh, and it's pretty easy for them to get out their third one. They do need that energy card though. They need to attach another energy card. So that might be the stumbling block for them. They can't actually attack back to back without a Raihan. So they need that Raihan card. No Raihan, they can't attack. They, all they need is a Raihan and a special energy card and a uh, Skiplum and Jump Bluff in their deck. Skiplum in hand, Skiplum, special energy and Jump Bluff. And Raihan. Raihan allows you to search your deck for any card as well, so Raihan is going to help you that much. I think that's all. What else can they do? Oh, another strike. Okay. This is super bad. Um... 
Oh, they have that as well. They don't need a Raihan. They just need to evolve. So we need to use a Marnie now. Definitely need to use a Marnie. Um, gonna attach a fire here. Um, attach to that one, I suppose. They're gonna hit. They're gonna kill everything at the same time. So there's no point attaching to a something that's gonna die anyways. I'm just gonna compress my deck. I'm not gonna put my score bunny, I'm not that stupid. So I'm gonna use a Marnie now just to make sure they can't find the right cards they have in their hand. It might not be wise though because they actually need that jump laugh in the deck. So I don't know, you know. They need a rapid strike energy and a jump laugh. But they still need to oh they have a tower of waters. They don't need to worry about the retreat. Oh my god, this is bad. I don't think we can win this game, guys. But that's okay, at least we tried. Uh, that's how powerful your Jump Love card is. It does a sweep damage of 60 every turn. All you need is 3 strikes to knock out everything. All of their single price cards, all of their V cards, 3 strikes. If they have VMAX though, you can't actually hope to win with your Matchless Maelstrom. You need 4 strikes or even more to knock out a VMAX uh, on the bench spot. You need it on the bench spot as well. So 123 times. Three strikes actually knock out a VMAX. Oh my god. 100, 123 times. That is madness. Here comes Jump Love. Phew, that was close. Yay, we won the game. They have no more Rapid Strike Energy card for the Solar Evolution, so we won the game. All they need is that one more strike, and all we have is one last prize card, I think. So we won three games with this Comeback King deck. Very, very good deck. <laughs> I'm very happy. Uh, got me a lot of losses yesterday, but turns out to be rather well. Doing rather fine today. Um, very happy about that. Um, it's finally shining, you know? So we're up against a normal type deck, could be a flying deck. Score bunny. No boo shake. Hoping for some boo shakes. Okay, uh, doesn't look like we're up against a competitive deck. I'm very happy <laughs> because this deck is is not built against competitive uh, Rayquaza VMAX decks. This deck is just not that powerful. It's just fun to play with, you know? I love decks which are fun to play with uh, that you don't really uh, focus a lot on winning. You know, it's not about winning. It's about being creative, uh, finding ways to be different and finding ways to make the game more challenging you know challenge yourself that's what that's what this game is about that's what life is about keep challenging yourself so it's no longer a challenge if you play those overpowered decks it's gonna be uh, i mean the gameplay is still a challenge but it's gonna be the same challenge over and over again so doing the same thing is kind of like drudgery it's just boring you know i don't like doing the same thing over and over again i love playing new decks i love making new decks for you guys so hope you guys enjoy this one um I, you know, I try my very best to make it the best that I can. Every deck that I make, I make it the strongest, as, as overpowered as I can. But it is, you know, it is very difficult to make a different card. A card that is not meant for the metagame strong, you know, strong and powerful and buffed. So here comes to Reboot. We got two in the deck. That's, that's lovely. 
Uh, if they knock us out the next turn though, that's gonna be bad. They can knock us out, I think. Oh, not yet. Because they only do 50 damage. Okay, thank god. We can still use our Bird Keeper as well. Okay, we can't attach energy card. Um, no energy card. That's that's super bad. Uh, we got a Rapid Strike energy card twice. First time before the Marnie, second time after the Bird Keeper. Um, bum, ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Should we evolve the active or the bench one? The active is dying the next turn, so let's just... Um, we can't use Bruno or Raihan if it dies with a special condition. So let's hope they... Uh, let's hope they hit 40. If they hit... If they don't Searing Flamers... Oh, if they Searing Flame, we can't actually... We are not dead yet, actually. Because it only does 10 damage. If they use 50, we can use our Bruno at least. Uh, Raihan doesn't help us because we have no energy card in the discard pile. We can't use Raihan, actually. I don't think we can. To search for a card from the discard... Uh, from our deck. Yep, if you have no energy in your discard pile, you can't search your deck for a card, for any card with your Raihan. Interesting to know that. So we can actually discard that to search for a Zygarde. Uh, just bring it out, just because we can. And then, you know, that's the main selling point for this deck. The unique selling point, the unique card for this deck is our Zygarde. So... Bring it out whenever you can, you know. We do have one Tower of Waters for the retreat if we want. Because it is two energy retreat cards, very heavy. And we can't actually retreat without our Bird Keeper or Tower of Waters, which we only have very limited amounts of in this deck. So only two Bird Keepers and one Tower in this deck. Heatmore. Heatmore doesn't do a lot. I mean, you're doing that extra burn and that extra Rocky Helmet effect. Not a lot that you're doing. Uh, we can evolve now. Um, should we put a Crobat in the front? I'm just gonna do that. Prepare another Score Bunny. Okay, uh, I should have used a boo shake. I think I have another reboot in the deck. Oh, I should have used a boo shake. My bad, guys. Definitely should have used that boo shake. Dang it. Forgot about boo shake. So they have a Winden Stadium, but no V cards. <laughs> no V cards on their bench. That's very, very odd. Very, very odd. Crobat is uh, going back to the bench position. So no more Boo Shake, uh, but we can Boo Shake if we can't. Oh, we don't have a Reboot. I'm pretty sure we have a Reboot. Alright, then it might be better just to use a... Might be better just to use a Research later. I'm just going to put that now. Should I? I'm going to prepare for Avery and just not do anything. Don't do anything rash yet. Okay. What can it do? Oh, experience share. Experience share to nine tails. Nine tails can actually knock us out. Oh my god. Fire main. 70 damage. For a stage one. Only two energy attack costs. But it is uh, a very old uh, theme deck card, a card from the theme deck. So this guy is probably playing with a very, very... It's probably a very beginner guy playing with all of the, you know, uh, common and uncommon cards. No rare cards as yet. But they are having a reboot. A rare reboot. Uh, you know, the reboot that is going to become a Libero Cinderace. That reboot. 
not the theme deck reboot. That is not from the theme deck. So uh, we need to put this, I'm pretty sure. We need Raihan or we have an experience share. Um, we can shuffle back our fire energy card. How many fire do we have? Sorry about that. Uh, we still can't see it. Three fire energy cards, so I'm gonna shuffle something back. Um, one Cinderus. Maybe one more Reboot. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there we go. Two fire energy cards. And discard everything. There we go, our fire energy card. And telescopic sight. Just for kicks. And kill the Ninetales. Here comes Cinderus though. We have to watch out for that card. If they retreat, they can use Libero and kill us. Just like that. Just like that, they have the upper hand. Um, looks like they're not retreating this turn because they they're actually attaching energy card to that and a experience share to that one. If they evolve and retreat, they can use the barrel uh, flare striker this turn. Doesn't look like they are doing that though, so uh, might be wiser to save that spot for a crowbat. Uh, we can't attack, so we have to pause the turn. That's the bad thing about uh, bad thing about Cinderus is if you don't have your Tower of Waters and Bird Keeper, you actually need those two to be able to attack on the same turn again. So Bird Keeper for a Rapid Strike card, Tower of Waters to retreat that Rapid Strike card, uh, to be able to attack uh, every turn with your Fireball Shot attack. Single Strike has a lot of a lot of baggage. I mean, Rapid Strike doesn't have that much baggage, but Single Strike, a lot of baggage, you know? It's a stage 2, and you still need to wait a turn. Crisis Power, you need your opponent to take a lot of price cards to be able to do 300 max damage. It doesn't even, it's not even enough to knock out a VMAX with one hit. 300 damage after they take, after your opponent has taken 5 price cards, you're only doing 300, you know? You need your Karen's Conviction, you need your Single Strike Energy card, you need so many other things. And you need our opponent to take so many prize cards to be able to knock out a VMAX with one hit. So Cinderus single strike is just way too way too heavy. The baggage is way too heavy. Rapid strike is so light, it's just so easy. I suppose that's why Rapid Strike is overpowered. Um and everyone keeps spamming it on the on the ladder, on the standard ladder, on the standard tournaments, on the players' cup, everyone just keeps slamming those, spamming those. Rapid Strike combos, Rapid Strike over Shifu VMAXs. Really, really annoying. But what can you do? People have to make money, get their... get the prizes to be able to earn a living. So they can eat and survive, I suppose. So here comes Cinderus or Ninetales. It is a very theme deck. Very theme-based deck. Uh, with a Chinchino and uh, a Heatmore. Chinchino, Heatmore, and that Vulpix. Not the Sword and Shield Vulpix, but the Rebel Clash Vulpix. Not sure if there's any much difference. Confuse Ray and Smash Kick. The other one, I think, has Rare Kick, and not too sure about that. Ah, oh, Flare. This is from Sword and Shield. This is the theme one. So, 1 energy for 20 damage, Flare. 2 energy for 20 damage, Smash Kick. But you have Confuse Ray as well. So, Torkoal V. They have a V card, but no V Max though. Not sure why this is in the game, in their deck. Um. Should we use a research? So they took two prize cards, we can knock out something at least. 80 damage is not enough to knock out much. 
But we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. So if they don't knock out our uh, Zygarde the next turn, at least we get to retreat with that one. Uh, we're gonna retain our hand just because we actually have a good hand with energy cards in play. But they may just Marnie us the next turn, so there's no telling. Uh, we may actually target this one. Should we target that one? I don't think I want to though. Because all we need is another hit, another knockout after we knock out, after we draw another prize card. If we hit this one, they can still heal it, you know, heal it with a Pokemon Center Lady. And we're not going to be able to knock it out anymore. Because we're only doing, um, we have no Passimian. We can get out a Passimian actually with our Sonia. It's not in our discard pile. I think we have it in our deck, uh, not in our prize card. So we are actually doing 80 plus 60 damage. How much is that? 140 damage to that Torkoal, quite a lot. And if they knock us out, we have another Zygarde. Hopefully getting a Raihan with that Crobat and then search for a Rapid Strike energy card. Raihan, the Grass energy for another Judgment Surge to knock out that Torkoal. But I don't think we would be that lucky to get those cards in hand, to get those all of those pieces at on our next turn, so it's just better to the, do the knockout. They can't attack with Torkoal anyway, so on their next turn, they are dead. On our next turn. So we are past the hour mark, uh, so this is the last game for us. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It took a long time to make this deck work. Uh, not too long, but you know, a little bit longer than usual because it's quite difficult to make a stage 2. Any stage 2 card, as I said, if you're using it to attack, is very, very difficult to make a deck out of. The Luxray deck as well. The Luxray deck, uh, Luxray Zorok deck that I made um, earlier. We actually have an experience share. Oh, not to, not on the Zygarde though. On the, on the Reboot. So that Luxray deck took a lot of time just because it is a stage 2 Pokemon. It evolves very very slowly and it takes a long time to build that momentum. But once you have the momentum going, uh, all of everything is going to be very very fast for you, you know? Everything is going to roll, the ball is going to roll very easily from then on. And the game is going to... Everything is going to work out well for you after you set up everything. So the main thing to do... The main thing you need to worry about with any stage 2 decks, with this stage 2 deck as well, is to evolve those stage 2 attackers as fast as you can, uh, as many of them as you can as well, so that you can attack turn after turn without break, without stopping, with your fireball shot, 150 damage, and then more and more, it snowballs. So this attack snowballs, and it uh, the damage it does, uh, it, it increases, it escalates. So that's the main strong point of our Crisis Power ability is that as our opponent take more and more prize cards, we are doing more and more damage, essentially knocking out V cards and V max cards with one or two hits easily. And not only that, we are also playing our Zygarde Judgment Surge attack, doing extra damage for each prize card your opponent has taken to any one of your opponent's Pokemon, 40x damage for each prize card that they have taken. Obviously, it is three energy attack costs, one grass, one fighting, one color. It's a very difficult card to pull off, but we have a Raihan to put that grass energy from our discard pile back to attach it to our Zygarde and then use a Rapid Strike energy from our hand, immediately attacking on the same turn within a single turn, charging it up for that three different energy attack cost. Uh, two different energy, my bad. So we have three Rapid Strike energy cards in this deck, four copies of our Grass energy and six copies of uh, Fighting, uh, sorry, six copies of our uh, fire energy card and also two copies of our capture energy to bring out our basic pokemon we have four copies of our quick ball and also one sonia to be able to bring out our basic pokemons fast we have four score bunnies two zygards and one passimian so passimian and telescopic side we only have one of each of them so one is enough just because we are not targeting uh we are not actually you know, uh, focusing so much on our Zygarde card. Zygarde is our last, last gambit, our final, final attacker. Because if you use it to attack early on, it's not going to do anything for you. If you attack it when the game is about to end, when your opponent has taken four or five prize cards, then all you need to do is put a one telescopic side or a Passimian to add that extra 30 damage. If you have both, then you get to add 60 to uh, to their bench V or V Max Pokemon, essentially knocking it out without needing a boss order. You don't need a boss order to collect that VMAX knockout if you already damage them with your fireball shot, uh, if you already hit the uh, the first VMAX with your, with your fireball shot with your Cinderace, then all you need to do later is to use your Judgment Surge for that final knockout hit. 
if you can't find your boss order in time or if you can't charge up or evolve your another cinderace in time then judgment search is gonna do a lot for you you know because we have our raihan we have one copy of our experience share as well to fast charge our pokemon one copy experience share allows us to attach that extra energy card basic energy card from our dead active pokemon to any one of our bench pokemon with that experience share attached to it essentially allowing uh, essentially reducing the attack cost by one either grass energy or fire energy allowing us to use fireball shot or judgment search much much easier and consecutively non-stop that is what we want to achieve with this game consecutive non-stop attacks with our uh, fireball shot cinderace and judgment search zygarde so raihan we have two copies of it we have three copies of research and three marnies in this deck two boss orders two bird keepers and one tower of waters two brunos as well so tower of waters is there just because we are playing uh three copies of rapid strike cards we have two zygars and one passimian so if we bird keeper and use a tower of waters we can actually bird keeper for the switch and then retreat back into our our cinderace to be able to use our uh fireball shot once more that is why uh, our tower of water is there in this deck that is why we have a tower of waters in this deck is because we actually need to retreat switch and retreat to be able to use our fireball shot again because you can't actually attack with this pokemon after using your fireball shot attack so that is the confinement for this attack you can't attack on your next turn so Cinderace has its limits, but obviously Zygarde also has its limits because you actually need to wait until your opponent has collected enough prize cards to be able to do enough damage to knock out their bench Crobat V or their bench single prize Chinchino, Octillery, Malamar, whatever you want with your Judgment Search attack. You can even target their active Pokemon if you want with your Judgment Search if you need to. You know, sometimes you may need to do that. You know, it really depends on the game what you need to do. So uh, we also have that one copy of Raw just to put back our basic energy card and also our cinderace back into the deck if we need to uh or if we discard a lot of our uh, evolution cards with our research we do have three copies of research in this deck so it is quite risky to play uh, a card uh, you know a supporter card that discards cards from your hand that you may need later on to evolve or to attach energy card if you have way too many energy cards in your hand and you need to use a research then your rod is there to save you later on so that is what we that is why we have one copy of rod in this deck also two boost shakes and two rare candies to fast evolve our cinderace because we are playing a stage two attacker which is a very very slow card to set up so that's all for this deck hope you guys enjoyed this video uh we will see you on the next one have a nice day please like share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already if you find our videos interesting entertaining or fulfilling in any way we're signing up now and have a nice day bye guys see you on the next one